hello, thank you for coming. My name is Oliver Powell, the Anger Canadian. Today I'm making another Sims 4 Let's Play video. I'm accepting a challenge given to me by my YouTuber friend, Jemzy. I gave her the challenge of making a Let's Draw the Ghostbusters um, video, which I'll put a link at the end. So you will have to watch the end of my video to get to hers. It was really good and well done. So she's a very talented artist. And now she gave me the challenge of making a three bedroom house. So I should be able to pull that off and we'll have some fun along the way. Hello, so you might be wondering where did my face cam go? And when I originally recorded this a few days ago, it was about 45 minutes long and that's ridiculously too long for a YouTube video. So when I cut this all together, it, didn't make any sense with the face cam and stuff it was all all over the place so i just decided to pull out my blue snowball microphone and use a uh, do a voiceover while i'm and i can ex just explain what's going on so as i said earlier i'm making my f three bedroom house from gem z her challenge that she gave me and i just made it laid up my foundation made it a little bit longer i put my door down on the left i don't know why i like to do asymmetrical doors either all the way to the left or to the right so that's just me <laughs> and now you can see I wanted to try to do it upstairs for the first time I don't I've always avoided doing upstairs in Sims 4 I don't know why and uh, this was a bit of a challenge for me because it's a little bit outside my comfort zone and here I thought I'd make a roof uh, to get that out of the way and I struggled Ridiculously too hard. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get this uh, on there correctly. So it was a real pain in the butt. And it took a good chunk of my recording time. So you see, I got it way too high. And then I saw it was not centered. And my OCD was going nuts. And it wouldn't let me, for life of me, wouldn't let me do it. So eventually I just give up. And I do the roof at the very end. Now we're coming up to... The next segment, just a uh, clock swipe to the downstairs. I'm going to do my kitchen. And uh, yeah, so, oh, I decided to put windows down. You know, you need some ambient light in there. Excuse me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to... Also, I'm planning on doing a backyard. Maybe I'll come back in this house a little bit and try and move my sim into here once I can afford to, and then we'll expand later. So I wanted to start off with a simple kitchen. Uh, try and square it off with the uh, the staircase over there. Make an island. Uh, something I always liked about uh, houses, or at least I try and look for when I'm house hunting myself, is um, lots of counter space. Oh yeah, and earlier you just saw I couldn't get the sink <laughs> lined up with with the um, I couldn't get the sink lined up with the window, and my OCD was going nuts again. So now we move on to designing the the living area. So as a guy, I always want a big screen TV. I try to find a good spot for my couches and stuff to go. I tried that uh, corner couch thing, and it didn't work out. So I went with a love seat and a coffee table. You know, I figured there's only going to be one, maybe two Sims in here because I'm my main profile. Again, I started a little family. It's just, uh, I made a, a version of me and my girlfriend. And we were, wanted to see, you know, play from there. And I put a little fireplace for a little a little mood, a little je ne sais quoi for uh, a good time. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, and then I tried to find uh, other seats. And, uh, and I was moving on to the next room, I believe. I want, yes, I wanted to make a guest uh, bathroom in the downstairs. Since no one was having a shower in the downstairs, I figured I just needed a mirror, a sink, and a toilet. And um, I also remember when I recorded this initially, uh, I posed the question, do you like your toilet paper face up or face down? Um, I'm indifferent as long as it gets changed. <laughs> so, um, and I will move on to the upstairs and I finally make my master bedroom. 
and lots of space lots of space considering uh you know when you go from being a single person to uh, a committed relationship and you're moving in with your partner that's something i really yeah happens is you lose like i lost half my space i couldn't do like my my drawer is like half hers and half mine <laughs> so we need more space um storage wise anyhow um and again you know that i've always wanted an ensuite bathroom and now we clock swipe to the next you know you can see the finished bedroom well it's not all i finish i still need to do the flooring but at this point in time it was getting late and i was like you know ah i don't have time to make a bedroom by scratch piece by piece so i try and find the pre-built rooms and you can buy them for this one was all about uh seventeen hundred dollars and I figured that's five for like a little kid. And then I did a second room. So I just made three. And then I decided to, then now you cut to where everything has been uh, finishing touches. And then I put in a study for, uh, to use up a little bit more of that space. But then somehow my staircase got deleted. I don't know how that's possible. And at this point in time, I didn't realize that my scare staircase got deleted. So I ended up, I mean, eventually I will fix it. But um, I just didn't notice, I, don't, <laughs> I was playing the game and I didn't notice that my staircase was gone. And if, as you can see, I finally figured out that stupid roof mechanic. And I already did a little bit on the outside with some stone and veneer. Um, I made a comment on my actual job. I make stone for houses. So I was a little impartial for for that. Then I said I'd need a upstairs bathroom for the kids. You know, the whole point of having an ensuite bathroom is that it's yours. You don't have to share it with a whole bunch of kids. And then, yes, some lighting, finishing touches, a little bit of paint, a little bit of trim. Uh, I like my island with the four chairs there. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, watching this... Oh, yeah, I fixed my stairs finally. So now there's just the, uh, the stairs to go upstairs again, obviously. But then there's a gap. You can kind of see there's a gap there for the bathroom and a gap for the kitchen. <laughs> so it's so like if you're going to go to the bathroom, you know, people will see you. So obviously I got to fix that. And there I do. And then I do it on the other side. And then watching this footage, I realized that I did not put windows on the second floor. So everyone in the second floor uh, doesn't have any windows. So if I come back to this house, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> and then the lighting for the main level. I, I don't like, you know, lamps and stuff. So I just have lights. Um, more space is what I was going for either lights on the ceiling or lights on the wall i don't so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down comment um big shout out again to my friend jasmine and jim jimsy big shout out to my friend jimsy and see her video see her draw ghostbusters challenge she did a really good job on that link to her video in the description and i'll see you all in the next video bye